Hi and welcome everybody at this tutorial about um, yeah MXM game server. It's a setup by uh, made by Johan Meyer. Um, you can see all different. We will explain all different buttons and what this actually means. Um, at the left side, you see infos and players. Infos, uh, you can see everything. Yeah, what the server is set right now. You can see the marshals. You can see the greetings. You can see everything. In the players, you can see all the players in the server. Like you can see right now, Johan Meyer. You can kick, ban, mute, force play, and force back. And if, for example, somebody joins the server. You can press reload list. We are now gonna kick myself. <laughs> if you press kick, you can see or kick Johan. You can see I'm disconnected. And if I wanna rejoin, I press connect again and I'm back in. As you can see, my name is not showing up yet. So before you see Johan's name showing up again, you press on relo reload list. And there I am. Or there is Johan. <laughs> I will make that mistake a lot now. Uh, then we go to the right hand side. Commands. You can start the server. That will start the server, of course. You can stop the server. That will stop the server, of course. <laughs> and you can... If, okay, first we test it. If you press stop server, server you see it's uh, down. If you start it up again, you can connect again. Then you go to race restart, and if you press that, you can see at the left hand side it restarted. You can also broadcast something like bonjour à tous or hi all for those who doesn't speak French. <laughs> then if you press broadcast, you see the text at the left in your game and in red, and you can spam a lot. <laughs> you can also execute a script, for example this 4 minute script. Execute it. Départ dans 3 minutes ou départ dans 4 minutes. You can make the scripts yourself. There are a lot of tutorials in that for on the forum, and we will come back to that later in this video. You can also set up the track. Right now we have uh, four tracks, and uh, I just put on Miller. If I restart the race, you can see the track is changed. To Miller Motorsport Park. There it is. Then, how do you change the tracks or add tracks? You go, of course, to tracks. There you see all four tracks you saw in that uh, drop down list in the previous menu. If you want to add a track, you have to add uh, a track info file. If you don't know how to save that, you just go in game slash and go into chat slash save track info. You can do that as well in offline mode as online mode. And then it's saved, it comes in your personal folder and you can open it on the website by clicking on that line there and upload. And now it shows 2013 Motorsport blah 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 track info replaced because it was already in. But for example, if you have a new track, it will say track added. And then you can find in this drop down menu the track and select the amount of minutes you want, the amount of laps you want. We are gonna put 10 laps now and add this track. There you see it shows up at the top, it's track 0 right now, and with these easy buttons you can decide which track gets at the top and which track gets at the bottom of the playlist. You can also delete tracks by pressing on that uh, round red thing, till you have uh, one track left, and then you can add tracks again. And to save the track list, you just uh, press on 
save tracklist and when it's saved this button turns into green which is always handy to have some sort of feedback like that then if you go to commands stop the server and start the server again to have these changes applied otherwise uh, nothing will happen you have to restart the server otherwise these settings won't uh, work and I try to connect it but apparently I didn't have the track or don't have the track so I'm gonna change the track on the server first I have to refresh my browser or Johan, actually it's Johan who made this video so I'm just a voice <laughs> you just uh, refresh your browser restart the server or restart the race, sorry so the track changes and voila, you're back in now let's go to the third tab which is settings the first line is a greeting message that's the message you get when you join the server and then the server will tell you welcome to the split fire racing server have fun and if you press save settings it will turn green again but we won't do that yet because we still have to put the track interval this is in minutes and this is the time between the track will change for example if you're driving or riding 15 minutes on a track and you have a track interval of 16 and you restart before the 16 minute mark your track will restart and it won't go to the next track yet then you can also decide if you want to have arcade mode or not if off you can play in arcade mode so if you have no arcade on that means everybody has to play with simulator settings which we like of course otherwise we wouldn't buy an MX simulator game then you can uh, add all the marshals this is your user ID wise they can uh, they have several rights like restarting the server uh, well restart the race uh, put the next track on um, kick players, band players, stuff like that if you want to enter the user IDs don't use a comma to split them just uh, a space and everything is fine you can also put as many marshals as you want then at the bottom you have the s server setup advanced for example you can add admins these admins you can only have maximum three and these people can add tracks remove tracks decide how many laps there are and stuff like that they can do a little bit more like the marshals so that's why they that's why the server only allows three admins then you can go to the maximum amount of slots first we are gonna add some admins <laughs> same system as the marshal system no commas, no points, just uh, yeah, space between the user IDs then the maximum amount of slots slots means how many players can join your server so uh, that means riders and spectators so 37 people can now join the server and max players means the amount of players that you can have at the gate so if you put it on 10 you can only have 10 players at the same time on the track and that's about it for settings then go to the most interesting part the ban list <laughs> for people who are behaving bad you can uh, add the user ID there at the user ID tab or yeah section and you can add a reason we will put noob there but you can also add a name there so you know which uh, person belongs to which user ID uh, please let the time standing on zero uh, otherwise it will be hard to understand because it uses a Linux timestamp so unless you speak or type Linux don't change it keep it on zero it's a ban list for a reason so uh, keep everybody permanent banned <laughs> and it's easy to maintain so if you think somebody is behaving well again you can 
easily get him off. So we have filled out everything. Press on Ben. The person is not bent yet. You can see it's in the list below now. The person uh, you've bent also won't uh, get kicked right away. You can also edit it just like that. And if you press save ban list you can see I'm not or Johan is not kicked from the server yet. Um, but for example if I leave you can see I'm not uh Johan is not kicked. If you press on disconnect but try to connect again and you're on the ban list then you are screwed because you can't join rejoin the server then. If you want to get uh, the person back on the server, just remove him from the ban list and then that person can rejoin again, just like I did. Now scripts, you can uh, find a tutorial on that on the forums for uh, making scripts. It's not super easy, but at the same time it's not really difficult if you're into it. So if you want to make a good script, it's not super super difficult. We are now going to explain how the how to use the scripts. You can select the scripts and then you see the text in the bottom. It's like a text file. If you wanna delete the script, you just you just press delete and then it's gone. Then you get a confirmation script, blah blah blah, deleted. If you go to commands you have to refresh your browser again. If you refreshed it, you can see that the uh, 4 minute script is gone. If you wanna add another script, or if you wanna execute the script, I'm sorry, then you just uh, select the script and press execute script. And for that ban list thing, if you press on a player, press ban, then it automatically gets kicked. You can see I'm our uh, Johan, I'm sorry, <laughs> making that mistake again, is kicked from the server and can't rejoin. He's now on the ban list. And there you can see the text banned from the ban button. So that means he got kicked and banned. You can easily remove uh, him and save the ban list again and then Johan can rejoin the server again. Voila, this is it and uh, please donate to the EMF admins because they spent a lot of time making you race. So please donate.